Hi, amazing artists. Today we're going to be looking at the trees around us. This is my backyard, and there are so many large trees. Holy moly, they're super high. Especially if we look from the bottom towards the top. So we're going to be looking and making sure that the bottom is bigger. And it even has a movement to it, so it could be a little curvy. The artist that we're looking at, Emily Carr, she did a great job showing movement in her trees. We're inspired by her. So make sure there's maybe a V in the middle. Maybe there's an arm branching off towards one side. I'm also going to be trying to make sure that I go from big to medium to small. And I have my V and I have my branches. They may be a little staggered. I mean, nature isn't perfect, so things are going to be a little bit taller and a little bit shorter. There could be a birch tree maybe in the background. So we're going to be able to think about foreground, middle ground, and background. Foreground's closest to us. Middle ground's getting a little bit further away. And background is way, way far away from us. And it's me smaller and lighter in color. So we add some floof, all those leaves at the top. And maybe I could even add in some more details in the foreground. Maybe that's a dog that's closest to me, my, my puppy. Maybe it is um, some bigger leaves right next to me. But try to even get a little bit bigger towards the bottom. My branch, uh, my birch trees, a lot of times those are a little bit um, maybe skinnier, all about the same size. Try getting really close to a tree and really look up. So we're going to add some color now. Okay, you can add in some bushes. We're adding in lots of hills. And Emily Carr did a great job breaking up her space and finding shapes in the space around her. She used some big, bold lines. She had lots of darks in the artwork she created. Some darks and some lights. She was really dramatic in the colors she used. Lots of shading. So we press down hard towards the edges. Add more pressure. Use your muscles towards the edges. And get lighter towards the middle. Now I use oil pastel for my outlines. So it is blending in a little bit with my crayon, but I kind of like how that looked. You may choose to use oil pastel to color in, or you may choose to use watercolor paint. You may choose just to use crayon for your entire piece. Maybe Sharpie for your outlining. And think about different fall colors. You may choose to make a spring or a summer or even maybe even a winter scene. Again, I'm shading on the edges. Dark, 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 and lighter towards the other side. It's going to start to make my trees look a little bit more three-dimensional. A little bit more round. I'm kind of inventing some colors. I'm blending in some colors, reds with browns. Some adding some more darks in. A tree may not necessarily be orange, but I'm inventing it. It's a little bit abstract, may not look exactly like that space, and that's okay. An orangish brown, a reddish brown, a little bit more shading, dark on one side, light on the other. So we're making a space that could be recognizable. You may say, oh, that looks like a place that I've been. But that, that hill might not have been purple, but it makes sense in my middle ground. So I'm trying a little bit of shading, making the colors darker and more vibrant, closer to me. Wow, that's a really rich and vibrant red. It really pops because it's close to me. I can see the colors better. This is just with crayon. So you can do a lot with just crayon. So we're going to get a little bit lighter further away. I 
moving to my background. You get to decide if it's me, sunrise or sunset, middle of the day, if it's cloudy out, sunshiny. You are the artist. You get to decide. I haven't used too much green, so I'm deciding to use a little bit of green. I'm trying to balance out my picture. What colors have I not used much of yet? Now it looks like I'm going really fast, but it's just because I sped up my speed here of how fast I was working. So you need to take your time to have a great composition, great craftsmanship. Craftsmanship is how well that you, you create your piece. Did you take your time? Did you do your best work? I decided I wanted to have a reddish purple. A lot of warm colors in fall, so I do have a lot of warm colors, especially in my foreground here. And cool colors, it looks like, in the background. 